hello guys welcome back to the brutal master channel i hope you guys are having a fantastic day today in this episode we're going to talk about yet another token that was announced by coinbase a while back that it has been added to their roadmap and this means that this token has a very high chance of getting listed on coinbase pretty soon and this project is called kava or the kava token right again as always guys i highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects we cover in our channel and for this project i recommend you guys to go to the website kava.io in order to learn more about this project right but before you talk about kava.io i want to let you guys know that there is a referral link in the description for gear.io if you guys want to buy sell and trade crypto and these cryptos could be anywhere between low market cap gems to large market cap established cryptos including bitcoin and ethereum then gear.io is the best place for you where they offer you pretty much a whole host of options to trade uh, low market cap, low market cap crypto at a very affordable uh, fees right so they are the best platform for you to go to and if you want to trade some really good low market cap crypto way before they get listed on other major exchanges then gear.io is the place for you to go right so use the link in the description to set up uh, get it account and you'll get 30% trading fee rebate on any trades that you make on their platform right so going back to the uh, kava uh, platform for the purpose of this video i'm going to rely on the information present on coin market caps page for token along with the information present on the website itself but this is only going to be a peripheral analysis which means you need to do your own in depth research before you put your hard earned money onto this token right so what is kava kava is a layer 1 blockchain that com combines the speed and interoperability of cosmos with developer power of ethereum so kava has been a very popular project for quite some time right now it's been uh, you know popular and it's been an underdog as well simultaneously because this project has been a layer 1 blockchain that has been very reliable when it comes to speed interoperability and it's also part of the cosmos ecosystem which allows for developers to build ethereum based dapps on top of kava right so it's definitely a very powerful blockchain that has seen its highs and lows uh, for a very long time it was also a project that was uh, launched through the binance launchpad as well right so the kava network uses a developer optimized core chain architecture so they've used a very unique architecture called developer optimized core chain architecture which is unique to uh, projects that are built on the cosmos ecosystem and the ethereum core chain enables support for evm smart contracts while the cosmos core chain enables the lightning fast tendermint consensus engine and the inter blockchain communication protocol or the ibc so the infrastructure of kava is designed in such a way that it enables uh, the evm compatibility of ethereum as well as the lightning fast tendermint consensus engine uh, based on the uh, you know uh, cosmos ecosystem to be combined into one big platform called the kava chain right so that's the main focus uh, of what the infrastructure is for kava so the two core chains are connected by a translator module that enables them to interoperably interoperate seamlessly uh bringing the two most used blockchain development environments together in a single scalable network so this unique infrastructure has enabled kava to bring the best out of both worlds from ethereum as well as cosmos ecosystem uh into one single scalable network called kava right so uh, that provides more information about what kava's uh you know ecosystem is all about as well as the structure the kava network features a native governance and utility token called kava that can be staked by validators or delegated to validator nodes so obviously just like any platform uh they also have their own token called the kava token which is the token of interest in this video and this token uh, can be staked by validators or delegated for validator nodes right so you can stake it because it's a proof of stake blockchain right uh, stakers and delegators earn 37.5% of all kava emissions as a reward for securing the network so for staking you obviously get staking rewards and all the stakers and validators they basically earn 37.5% of all the uh, emissions of kava the new tokens that are getting launched on a regular basis as staking rewards Kava stakers also have voting rights in network governance proposals. So, as a staker slash validator, you also have voting rights, which you can use to, uh, you know, kind of determine the future of this blockchain, right? So that's basically the quick overview of what Kava is, its infrastructure, as well as how the token of Kava itself uh, plays an important role in this ecosystem. The next section basically 
uh, talks about the founders of Kava, which I'm going to skip because it's not really relevant to this video. And I'm going to skip to the most important section, what makes Kava unique? So why would you choose to put your money onto Kava rather than any other project, right? So uh, again, information present in this video uh, based on the CoinMarketCap section could be a little old because CoinMarketCap doesn't really update a lot of information because Kava has uh, you know, upgraded quite a bit and they have done a lot of uh, upgrades and developments uh, over the past few months to a few years. And I can easily go through their website, uh, you know, to show you guys briefly that. But this is basically going to talk to you guys about how Kava could be a very unique investment for you guys, uh, for not only for the Coinbase listing that's going to come pretty soon uh, to make some short-term gains, but also for the long-term as well, right? So the Kava network utilizes a developer-optimized core chain architecture that delivers the development power of Ethereum and scalability, interoper interoperability, and low transaction fees of the Cosmos ecosystem in a single network. So obviously this is something that we already know, uh, which in itself is a unique uh, ecosystem altogether. So the Kava network empowers developers with flexible deployment. So one of the benefits that developers get with Kava is that they can flexibly deploy dApps onto the Kava ecosystem, right? So developers can build and deploy on either of the two most used permissionless execution uh, environments in the world using the EVM compatible Ethereum core chain or the Cosmos core chain. So uh, if you're a developer who wants to build EVM compatible dApps on Kava, you can do that. Or if you want to build Cosmos compatible uh, dApps, you can do that as well because this is basically compatible with EVM as well as Cosmos, right? Uh, the next benefit is on-chain incentives. So a transparent and decentralized on-chain incentive model ensures that the best developers and projects in every Web3 vertical, including DeFi, GameFi, and NFTs, are rewarded for their contributions with the proportional share of value and governance of the network. So obviously with regards to the, the mechanism itself, they have lots of on-chain incentives that will provide you with uh, incentives by taking part in DeFi, Gamify, NFTs, and so on and so forth within the Kava ecosystem, right? And the main benefit of Kava is basically the interoperability factor, right? So it is seamlessly interoperable with multiple different blockchains and developers can deploy Solidity smart contracts that interoperate seamlessly with the Cosmos SDK protocols in the same network, connecting their project to every major asset and millions of users. So interoperability is obviously a kind of like a given at this point in the crypto space and uh, Kava enables users and developers to seamlessly uh, use the interoperability of Kava uh, to connect with multiple other smart contracts, right? So those are the three main reasons why Kava is a big deal. And uh, to be honest, these are old applications of Kava. There's a lot of new uh, cool things that Kava has developed uh, in, in the recent times, which I'll go through once we go through the, through the website. But if you guys want to learn more about the Cosmos ecosystem itself, then CoinMarketCap has a dedicated page for that uh, ecosystem along with Ethereum, obviously, and multiple other information as well, right? So if you see, uh, if you scroll further below, they have provided more information about the circulating supply and the circulation of uh, Kava tokens in general, uh, which I'm going to skip as well. And uh, they're also talking about how Kava network is secured. So this is something that I'll briefly cover because uh, Kava is a proof of stake blockchain and they are uh, built on the Cosmos ecosystem, which means they use a tendermint based proof of stake consensus mechanism, which is quite secure and it's, um, it's one of the most um, uh, widely adopted uh, proof of stake mechanisms in multiple different blockchains out there. So it's definitely becoming more and more popular. Uh, it's not as secure as Ethereum blockchain because Ethereum is the second largest blockchain. It is, it's kind of like a proof of uh, work ecosystem, uh, which uh, got converted to proof of stake from, uh, from uh, you know, mid this year onwards. So Ethereum itself is a proof of stake blockchain uh, that has uh, you know been secure for a very long time and uh, Kava is even though not as secure as Ethereum it's still as secure as a Cosmos ecosystem can get right so uh, you guys can go through this section in detail because it covers a lot of uh, more in-depth information about how the network of Kava is secure uh, and they talk about governance which also plays an important role right so uh, I'm going to skip this section and go go to the website itself to give you guys the overview of the new developments that Kava has developed. Uh, if you go to the website kava.io, you can first of all see that they are the leading uh, blockchain uh, for Web3. So they're leading the world to Web3. So they're trying to bring a lot of adoption to the Web3 ecosystem. Uh, 
uh, through their platform, right? So Kava believes in a Web3 future, Kava is a decentralized blockchain that's optimized for protocol growth. So you can clearly see that they've changed their way they describe themselves from CoinMarketCap's older version of their platform to their website's newer version. So you can also see the cool graphics about interoperability, obviously Kava in the center with Ethereum, Cosmos in the left and right respectively. And they have like the DeFi, Gamify and other aspects uh, built in through pictures uh, of a you know, joystick or a controller uh, as well as a rocket ship and coin as well, right? So everything is possible within the Kava ecosystem. That's basically the message here. Uh, about 120 million Kava is staked, close to 100 active validators and $2.5 billion of uh, bridged assets that are transacted on the platform and $625 million plus uh, assets on chain with an average transaction fee of less than, significantly less than one cent, which is $0.0001 per, uh, you know, transaction, which is incredibly low if you ask me. And this is pretty much the case for uh, all of the Cosmos based ecosystem, including Kava, right? So that is pretty much, uh, you know, a very solid information for you to know if you are trying to build as a developer on top of this blockchain. Uh, so Curve launches pools on Kava. So Kava already has made leaps and bounds, as I said, uh, when it comes to bringing in high quality projects. So Curve, uh, which used to be an Ethereum based project is now available pretty much in multiple different blockchains, including the Kava blockchain. So Binance announces Kava as a launchpad project of the year. So they are, they are basically closely working with Binance because they were a Binance launchpad project themselves. Uh, and they are still continuing to work with Binance, which is a good thing because Binance, even though it's a centralized pl platform, uh, they're still important for the crypto uh, ecosystem as a whole, at least as of now. And it's good to have close connections with Binance by being labeled as the project of the year uh, when it comes to Launchpad, right? So that's pretty good. Kava Foundation launched $750 million worth of Kava to uh, rise fun developer fund. So these are other important updates that you need to understand. So you can build, deploy, and rise. So protocols are the most important value driver in uh, in Web3. Uh, that's why Kava developed uh, Kava Rise as an easy three-step program to get developers to launch on Kava. So uh, obviously there's a lot of competitions out there when it comes to which blockchain to choose from, um, all the way from Ethereum uh, to, let's say there is Velas, there is uh, Kronos Chain, there's so many other blockchains out there on a regular basis which are getting developed right now, which try to outcompete Ethereum, Solana, uh, Avalanche, and uh, several other top blockchains out there. Uh, so it's overwhelming for developers to decide which particular blockchain that they want to move or uh, build their dApps on, right? Uh, Kava has made it very easy for developers by bringing uh, Kava Rise, which is a three-step uh, program that basically enables developers to launch their dApps on Kava. So it's easy for developers to migrate or build their dApps from scratch on Kava, right? So you can click on the build on Kava button if you're a developer who wants to build on top of Kava. And if you scroll further below, they're the leading Web3 growth platform with 125 plus dApps that have been built on Kava. Uh, you can explore the ecosystem here. So these are all some of the uh, dApps that are uh, working with Kava. You can clearly see Beefy Finance in the center easily uh, uh, skimming through. Uh, Ledger is working, Multichain uh, .xyz is also working, which is currently known as multichain.org. Uh, you also have even Bitcoin and BNB chain along with SushiSwap, Chainlink, uh, a lot of projects in the Cosmos ecosystem and the Ethereum blockchain obviously are all working together on the Kava ecosystem to make it uh, interoperable, right? So at the bottom you can see some of the different projects themselves as well as tokens that are available on Kava. So it's nice to get a visual representation of what uh, Kava is doing so far. Uh, and they have made it easier for people to educate themselves from their website, right? So sidechain compatibility, so combine the flexibility and speed of Ethereum, smart contract development with the interoperability of Cosmos SDK. So uh, obviously they have uh, information about how developers can build and uh, you know flexibly uh, migrate their dApps and ecosystem to uh, Kava, even though uh, you know it's. It's pretty easy to do so with the three-step process. Uh, so that's another information out there. So Cosmos Code Chain, uh, Ethereum Code Chain. So these are all basics that we learned from CoinMarketCap, which is still relevant. Uh, they have the Tendermint Consensus Mechanism, which is very popular. Uh, if you click Build on Kava, you can build on it. Uh, 2023 Roadmap Update Incoming. So they are uh, trying to give active updates to the uh, investors and users, as well as fans of Kava 
on what their progress is going to be in 2023 and i really like about the one thing that i really like about kava is that they try to be very transparent and uh, so far they've been doing a really good job which is one of the reasons why i feel like coinbase has uh, added them to their roadmap and therefore is going to list them pretty soon right so if you want to be the first person to get updates directly from kava.io you need to subscribe to the newsletter and at the bottom you can see news information out there uh, where they constantly provide a month over month update to their users and at the bottom you can see the social media information along with other information that will help you uh, understand their project and learn more about their project right uh, so a very robust and versatile project that uh, has an extremely high chance of exploding in the future right going back to the coin market cap page for token This token is currently ranked number 97th by market cap and coin market cap which is a pretty good thing because it still managed to retain its position in the top 100 rankings despite the market downturn right so this is amazing and the current price of uh, one kava token is 86 uh, cents 86.42 uh, cents at the time i'm making this video which is a slight increase of 2.62% in the past 24 hours so clearly this token is pumping mildly so i would recommend you guys to not buy this token at this price point because there will be opportunity to buy this token uh, in a little bit uh, you know a little bit of while longer uh, maybe in a few days or so when this token starts crashing and then you can buy this token at a even more discounted price right uh, so this project even though it is its own blockchain is available on multiple other chains as well you can see the ethereum uh, contract address here you can also see the bep2 bep2 version uh, on the bnb uh, uh, chain as well as the um, a polygon ecosystem as well so it is available as a token in multiple other blockchains as well right so they are audited by certic and that certification is available here tags wise they are part of the cosmos ecosystem they are a binance launchpad project they are a binance labs portfolio as well uh, lending and borrowing is the main theme of kava's uh, blockchain uh, adding an xrp capital is also one of the investors framework ventures is another investor and hashd capital is also a popular investor to invest in this project uh, part of the injective ecosystem as well so these are the main tags that will give you an idea of uh, who are the investors the top investors as well as which ecosystem this project belongs in and if you scroll further below the market cap is only 289.5 million dollars as of the time i'm making this video which uh, despite being like 3.87% higher i still feel like uh, this project has a very low market cap compared to where it should be because this project has been providing constant updates and they've been building a lot and they've been making their platform much more accessible and user friendly on a month to month basis which is really impressive and the fact that they're trying to onboard and they've also gotten the binance's uh, best launchpad award uh, is a very impressive task uh, for this project but at the same time the market cap seems to be uh, indicating that this is still undervalued right so if you're buying this project at this price point yeah, even though if it is 2.6% uh, up in uh, price point as well as 2.9% uh, up in the market cap value it's still extremely undervalued in my personal opinion which means it can easily grow to another a few uh, excess right when it comes to prices as well as market cap so i think it, this product can easily uh, go as high as 10x in market cap and be a 2.8 billion dollar market cap uh, in the next few years from now right which is definitely possible when it comes to volume the token has uh, reduced volume in the past 24 hours its uh, trading volume is about 9.7 million dollars in the past 24 hours but it's still less than uh, uh, you know several other projects uh, which also shows that this is undervalued and the volume has also been going down uh, for about uh, you know somewhere between 9.8 to 11% in the past 24 hours right and the majority in fact all of the volume is only coming from centralized exchanges there's literally no volume coming from decentralized exchanges which is also very interesting to see uh, the max supply wise this token does not have a max supply which is one of the biggest negatives of this project but they do have incentives for people to stake and pull the tokens outside of the circulation uh, which makes this token uh, slightly deflationary but the amount of uh, staking uh, needs to be consistently higher in order for this project to uh be considered as deflationary but to be honest it needs to have a burning mechanism in place in order for kava to be fully deflationary right but for now the lack of max supply cap is one of the biggest uh, disadvantages of this token and if you see the circulating supply is about 335.1 million tokens that's a lot of tokens in circulation and i'm pretty sure that there will be a lot more tokens that will be entering the circulation pretty soon and uh, as long as they can balance out the emission versus staking Uh, or even build a burning mechanism uh, you know this project will continue to be inflationary right so that's a small uh, concern about this project that you need to bear in mind 
So when it comes to candles and charts, if you easily see the chart, the token has performed really well in the past despite its uh, poor tokenomics. And if you see the token was initially worth $1.29 as of 25th of uh, October 2019 and it has managed to move sideways initially and before crashing to a price of 44 cents. So this is kind of like the one of the few tokens that after its launch didn't really like pump like crazy. It actually went down easily reaching as low as 37 cents which is kind of its all-time low i believe and this was as of 17th of uh, march 2020 and after that this token started rallying up to its first all-time high of close to uh, five dollars and nine cents as of 16th of august 2020 and then crashed uh, took a small breather reaching a dollar 35 before making another new all-time high of seven dollars and 25 cents as of 1st of april 2021 took a small breather and then reached its current and actual all-time highs of about uh you know eight dollars and i think 90 cents or something uh before crashing all the way down uh and it, it, did, it did make some uh, big peaks every once in a while making short-term gains to its investors before currently it's kind of like in the downward trajectory right now uh being at 86 cents right it's still not a uh, you know all to it's, uh, it's still not all time low right now but i think this token can uh, reach its all time low point uh, depending on how the market moves and it, it seems like a lot of people are predicting that this token will go down even further maybe even reaching the 75 or uh, you know 70 cents range which will be a good opportunity to buy in right uh, i don't see this pro uh, token crossing it's a new all-time low anytime soon because this token does have some uh, significant benefits and strength because of its growth that's happening with, uh, with the dApps and all the deployments that's happening onto this project. So I, th I don't think this token will get its new all-time low anytime soon, but the lowest it can go is as low as 70 to 75 cents, which will happen in a few days to a few weeks, right? So that will be a good opportunity to get into this token if you want it at a better discount, right? So again, if you still buy this token at this price, you're still buying it at a, a really good discount from its all-time high so that's one good thing and if you uh, look at the uh, you know price options a lot of people ask me how much uh, money that i suggest that they put into a particular token i give three price uh, scenarios a uh, the low risk uh, medium risk and high risk option uh, this is a project that was incubated by binance launchpad and it is available on binance right now i'm not using binance as a standard it's still a centralized exchange that could go bust anytime soon but i'm just trying to uh, give you a perspective on the fact that uh, you know, a project like Kava, which is a high quality project that has consistently uh, been partnering with Binance on several locations, is an example of a project that is pretty much less riskier than other projects, right? So since this is a, by default a less uh, riskier project than multiple other projects, I would suggest you guys to put no more than $500 as the, uh, you know, a low risk investment option uh, but again this could still mean a lot for a lot of people but i'm just using this uh, number for the purpose of this video right so using five hundred dollars to buy kava tokens at this price point will give you 579 tokens again if you wait a little longer you could get close to 590 or even 600 tokens if you're lucky uh, but putting 500 dollars will give you close to uh, 570 to 600 tokens depending on what price you're buying buying this token at right as i said the market cap has an opportunity to go another 10x so this token could make you uh, you know five thousand dollars from a 500 dollar investment right i feel like this token can go even further than that maybe going all the way to 20x if it's easily possible that will give you like a ten thousand uh, dollar you know um, you know, um, option in, by investing $500, you get $10,000, right? So that's definitely something that's possible, but I'm going to stick to the 10x conservative uh, prediction because easy 10x is possible with uh, this project, right? Uh, in the next five to 10 years from now. So uh, when it comes to a slightly risky option, $1,000 would be something that I would propose as a, a riskier, but not too risky option. So if you see if you put in thousand dollars which for some reason is not working here yes yeah if you put in thousand dollars you get thousand one fifty seven uh at the time i'm making this video uh this is going to give you a ten thousand uh, dollar return for a thousand dollar investment based on a 10x gain opportunity right uh for people who want to go degen full degen uh, which is not highly recommended uh you can put in no less than um, five thousand dollars 
uh, which will give you 5,790 tokens that I'm making this video and a 10x could give you $50,000 uh, easily, right? So uh, these are all like uh, arbitrary price points that I've chosen based on what I feel is uh, possible to happen. But these are by no means financial advice and you should not put in $5,000 even if you want to make a DGEN move and if you strongly believe that Kava is a good product that can go to the moon. Uh, it's still very risky. You could lose your money. So please bear the risks before you put any uh, any money onto the stock, right? So uh, having said that, let's look at the places where you can actually buy Kava from. Uh, if you go to the markets option, find market cap, they give you a lot of uh, information about markets. And now they are also starting to provide you with the stick mark, uh, which provides you with the reserve information of all the centralized exchanges. So this is a good thing, but it does not mean that the, these exchanges uh, are always going to be solvent. Even Binance is at a risk of collapse anytime soon, right? Because it's definitely a centralized exchange that does not really have any uh, regulatory, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, tie into that. Uh, an exchange like Kraken is less likely to fail, even though it is still a centralized exchange than an exchange like Binance. So I'm not trying to FUD Binance. I'm just stating that this is an additional information that you guys can access through coin market caps page, right? So on coin market caps market list, you can basically buy Kava from Binance, Kraken, KuCoin, uh, Binance US, Get.io, Hobi Global, Crypto.com, and several other exchanges. You can see there's a whole host of major exchanges on high quality uh, tier one exchanges where you can buy this token from. So if you can buy this from Binance, Kraken, KuCoin, and Get.io, I don't know where uh, you where else you want to buy this token from because these are high quality exchanges that provide you with the lowest fees and the lowest slippage possible, right? Um, so buying uh, from these exchanges would give you a really good opportunity to easily sell them when Coinbase lists them eventually, right? And you can also see that uh, there's a lot of trading pairs and a lot of price, uh, you know, differences between exchange to exchange. You can also do a quick arbitrage trading from exchange to exchange which uh, even though the, the price difference is not that drastic, uh, for example, uh, you know, all different trading pairs between Binance, Kraken and KuCoin are pretty much in the 86 cents range. But if you see for Huobi Global, it's trading at 92 cents. And uh, I think all of Huobi Global pairs have very weird price actions uh, for this token. So you can easily do trades between uh, Huobi Global and Binance or Huobi Global and Kraken or vice versa, you know, to make some quick arbitrage trading as well, right? So not only does Kava give you a good short term uh, and mid term options and long term options as well, but it also gives you a, a quick arbitrage opportunity to make money as well, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? I think this token has a lot of potential. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is that it has been around for a very long time. It has been incubated by Binance Launchpad, which makes this as a very high quality, reliable project that will get a Coinbase system guaranteed. Uh, there's no doubt about it because Coinbase has added this token to their roadmap. Uh, and at the same time, this project is growing by inter integrating a lot of Ethereum and Cosmos chain based dApps onto their platform. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of highly positive news coming from Kava, uh, including the fact that they're a very transparent blockchain they have some of the lowest fees and fastest transaction speeds in the crypto space. They're definitely a top contender to be uh, a really powerful blockchain in the next five to seven years from now. And price action wise, I can easily see this token going another 10x in the next bull rally. Uh, it may go even further than that, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna say 10x is a conservative number. Uh, but the main problem is that this token does not have a supply cap, which means it's technically still inflationary and it only depends on stakers to pull the token out of the market uh, so that it doesn't dump the price of the token, right? But in theory, if all the stakers want to unstake this token, not only is this token at a high risk of uh, collapsing because of the high inflationary forces that will drive the price of the token down, but the network itself could collapse because the validators can technically, um, uh, you know, do a 51% attack if uh, enough validators stake simultaneously, right? So uh, all these risks are real. And also, uh, since this project is closely uh, linked with Binance, if for some reason Binance collapses like FTX, this project is also in high danger. This project can also get dumped extremely hard that this project will not even recover, right? So these are some real threats that we need to definitely cons uh, consider before we invest in this token. Um, obviously, these threats are highly unlikely, but they are definitely likely uh, because of the current FTX shocker that we are seeing in the news right now. 
because nobody really thought that FTX would collapse and one fine day uh, FTX is no more, right? So uh, anything is possible in crypto. So you need to make sure that you take every single, uh, you know, risk into consideration before you put your money into the stock, right? Again, uh, remember guys, you guys are not regular investors, you guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.